hello welcome back again to nx tutorial so in this tutorial i still discuss about a uh, motion simulation but in here i will using kinematic simulation so when i click here motion simulation i will start by click new simulation in here i using kinematics so no mass or no force will be involved involved in this uh, simulation the step is same like dynamic simulation you create link this is the first link I uh, using this curve apply and the second link I use this also and this one so I use curve and the solid geometry and the third is the solid geometry also okay now I have in here three links first I will create I will name in here as a ring and then in here is a coupler and the third I, I say is a worm okay now in here I create three three links the next thing I will create a joint so the ring should be rotate so it means I will create a level joint the origin in the center the factor perpendicular okay in here also so link the origin in the center the factor is should be perpendicular perpendicular with the surface okay okay now on the third I want to create some kind of sliding movement with this a uh, coupler so I will go to slider select link the origin in the center the factor is perpendicular but it will sliding and also rotating so it will slide to this uh, Z a direction but also should be rotate with the ring itself so what I to do what I should do is to create the click the base link so it will, it will rotate together but also it will sliding click OK this is the three joints we made okay now in here I will create some kind of a harmonic motion in here the amplitude is about maybe 0 0.2 and the frequency maybe maybe about 15 degrees and here I will create a driver about 180 degrees is a polynomial so the, the velocity is constant The next thing I should do is to create a gear, a coupler. The first is this one. And the second is this. Oh, no. uh, the ratio of the gear is 30 by 60. So you, ha you can setting the gear ratio in here. And this one up here, and this. And after you finish, get all of this, you go to solution. Maybe I will 10 seconds. The step maybe one 1000. Uh, the gravity in this simulation has no effect because it's just a kinematic solution. Click OK, click solve, and let's check the result. Now you can see in here it moves. So as you can in see in here, there's a solid to solid uh, interference, but it's okay because we just only concern about how the mechanism move. Okay. Now since the movement is too slow, maybe I will cut this a little bit for 500, so the speed will be increased. 
okay change about 250 maybe so you can see a faster rotation now you can see in here now in here also the local arm slightly move change the resolution about 100 to make it uh, visible to see that it is move you can see right it move so if you have a link that you that you want to check the motion you can use kinematics is because uh, in uh, dynamics is quite heavy you need a high spec of the uh, of the uh, computers itself so maybe I will show you how to create a real simulation using 3d 3d contact so I will add a lead this one okay I will create new simulation this dynamics okay this is dynamic simulation so I will create a real-time simulation uh, using 3d 3d, 3D contact this is the link okay create the joint in here I just only involve the rotation the factor is perpendicular this one click the joint this is the origin here perpendicular okay I will input the motor in here the driving force still the same 180 okay and the gear not not a gear a coupler I will use in 3d contact so it will contact real contact 3d object between 3d object with this from this worm and this this gear select the body select the body at the base solid in here okay it's okay just leave it okay and then we go solve we set nice solution okay I forgot what to check this one maybe I will just only input maybe two seconds to see how it moves okay click solve now as you can see in here is uh, this the software uh, a calculation time is takes time you can hear you can see in here now when I click animation now you can see it's too heavy is because it create a real time a contact so the purpose I show you between kinematics and a dynamic simulation is in kinematics you can create a lightweight motion simulation just to check how it moves in a dynamic it's a lot heavier but you can check the real time a condition so it's up to you which one is better for you kinematic or a dynamic but for the first stage you can create the kinematic first to check all the the movement okay thank you very much for watching my video i hope it can be useful for you thank you and please watch my next video